Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey, and for today, I'd like to go through the Network Multi Tool 1.0. So, first and foremost, on the screen, you'll see the City Skylines Steam Workshop screenshot of the Network Multi Tool. So, now that you see what it looks like in the Steam Workshop, let's get started explaining exactly what this amazing tool is. So where exactly is the network multi-tool? Well, if you have the unified mod, the unified tool belt, and I will move this to the middle of the screen, you will see a tool belt with a few different mods. And the mod we're looking at today is called the network multi-tool. There you go. If you want to press control T, that will activate the network multi-tool. So we're going to click on it. We have tons and tons of different options. So the very first thing we'll actually do is we're going to show you what adding a node does. So a node in City Skylines are these blue things in front of you on the screen. And those are, those are nodes. So what we're going to do is we say if we want to add a node, for example, let's add a node right there. So we, you can see in blue that there is an additional node on the screen. So what can that exactly do to enhance our city? Well, if you want to come over here and we're going to blow this up to 500. Whoa, that's okay. That's a little, little, little aggressive, but all right, we're going to blow that up to 200% using node controller. You can create a cul-de-sac. So when you're adding nodes, it just basically adding nodes to the street itself. So that is honestly a really good benefit to have is adding nodes especially if you want a a road to go in a certain direction or you want it to connect a certain way so that's exactly what the plus sign does so then then the next part is is the negative one is you can take out the node um you can remove the node anything in blue or see you know like i said the blue circles you can just remove the nodes very simple let's keep going okay guys so if we look on the network multi-tool belt again we have the union node mod so what this exactly is say if you're struggling you know like you, you can't connect these roads you keep missing you keep going oh my gosh it's like okay i can't you know i can't really get to that you know i can't get to that street like how can i how can i get there well what this union node mod does is it actually creates it for you so it's basically, it can create roads for you that, you know, if you're having issues, you know, connecting roads up, it will basically, basically help you out in that regard. So let me just show you that again, real quick. We're going to just go here. We're going to hit this node, hit this node and boom, it connects it up and it makes it look actually pretty good. So, so far we're through two steps of the network multi-tool. The next one is, is the intersect segment mod. So let's get started with that. Okay guys, so say if we have an intersection in our city skylines layout and we don't have an intersection. So what we need is the intersection mode or mod and it's, well, it's called the intersect segments mode. And what we're gonna do is click both sides and there you go. It creates an intersection on its own. And it's very helpful if you're trying to figure out your city skylines road layout. So let's keep going guys. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the set slope mode. So what this is, is say if we have a decline in a ramp or a highway ramp of some sort, say if it's just a decline that does not look very good. Well, once we get on this set slope mode, what we can do is we can grab different nodes. We know that the nodes are the things that are in blue. And you can see that, you know, there is a decline in the ramp that is, you know, each of the declines are at a different angle. Well, what we can do is since we, since we already touched up on the nodes and we grab them, what we're going to do is since they're all lined up together, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the enter button and there we go. It creates a more gradual decline ramp. So if you're making highways or anything like that, this will be very helpful to make life go a lot faster and a lot easier and it looks a lot better and it looks very smooth and organic. So, so the next thing we're going to look at is the arrange in a circle mod. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all, see how it's in purple. We're going to complete the circuit. So if we click on that, we have all the nodes already connected in this circle. So what we're going to do is let's say we want something that is more circular. Say if you like those roundabouts, since all the nodes are already connected, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the enter button. And there we go. It makes a 
perfectly good roundabout or a circular, I should say it's a circular pattern. Um, it, you know, say if you do struggle with roundabouts, this is definitely one tool that can definitely help you out. So remember, that is going to be the Arrange Circle mod. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna focus on is actually over here, it is called the Curved, Create a Curve mod. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a connection over here. So now that we have a curved road, you're gonna actually, look at that. It just makes curved roads very, very easy to build. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is create a connection mo mod. So we're gonna come over here. We wanna connect these two up right here. So see how it kinda, kinda gave us a pretty cool uh, ramp? I would, I would call it a ramp, per se. So what you can do is if you have another mod, which is over here, is you can create which type of, what, what type of ramp do you want? So this looks like a cool connection, right? Would you say so? I would say so. So what we can do is we can create different types of, we can put it underground if we want. We can put it above. So let's just put it above and just see what we can do. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now that we have this in place, you could see that there is actually like a ramp and whatnot. So what you could do is if you're having issues with that ramp is you can use the move it mod and you can move this up and there we go. So there we go. So now you're gonna, now the next, actually what we could do is, now that you have that in place, the connection that, you know, the connection looks fine in general, but remember what we we did before with the sloping tool? These all relate together. So again, we're gonna connect up these nodes and press enter and look at that. It creates a much better decline in the, well, if it's an off ramp or the bridge, whatever, it just creates a better, overall looking ramp and um you know that's pretty cool how these mods kind of work together let's go to one of the coolest mods now that you can use so has anybody here ever built a highway i know raise your hand well when you're building using the network multi-tool you can actually create clone a road so let's say this was our highway and we wanted another highway directly next to it so we're going to come over here and we're gonna go over to the bottom left and it's called create parallel mode. We're gonna hit all of these nodes and we, we basically connected to all three of the nodes that were available and then we hit enter and look at that. It, it created a duplicate road right next to each other. Now you can use this with the highway roads. I know I'm only using normal roads, but that's just something to keep in mind. It is a very, very cool mod that you're able to do that. So that's how people are able to get such good looking highways. Okay guys, so lastly, the last one I wanna go over is what's called the create a loop mod. So let's say you're creating a highway off ramp or an on ramp just to, or an over section of any sort. And you wanna, you wanna make a nice looking loop without spending eight hours on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on mill bridge and we're gonna click on, I think that says Hunter Hunter Street. And so what we're gonna do is, okay, you can see in the yellow, you can see, well, that is the ramp that they wanna connect it. Well, we wanna connect it to this node over here. So I'm gonna zoom in right here. So we, we're gonna click on that blue node and okay, cool. So it gave us another ramp. Okay, like, but again, we want we don't want that connection. We want it to connect to Hunter Street. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna click on that node over here. So now that we have this in place, you can actually press enter and it will give you a really nice node. Now, now the thing is, is say if you want a smaller ramp, you can hit, or bigger ramp, you can hit the plus sign. So I'm hitting the plus sign on my keyboard. You can tell that it is pretty big. What I'm doing next is you can hit the minus sign and make a smaller ramp, but let's just hit the enter button. And as you can see, it creates a really, really good looking off ramp or on ramp or whatever you need it does a really nice job now i do know that it cut into this mountaintop but that's also a good example hey if you're working with mountains or cliffs it will cut into it and make a beautiful looking loop so guys that is the network multi-tool 1.0 remember you could find it on the steam workshop thank you guys for watching i appreciate it. if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below but thank you guys for watching have a great rest of your day